The Victoria Judo Club is a non-profit organization that has been in continuous operation since 1957, when it was founded by Inoue Sensei. The club's purpose is to provide high-quality judo instruction for people of all ages who want to learn a martial art that involves strength, coordination, competition, and above all, focus. So the Victoria Judo Club started in 1957, and the founder was Mr. Inoue. And uh, he started it with about four other gentlemen. I came to Victoria in 1976, and that's when I first got associated with the club. Fantastic club. Um, met Mr. Inui, the, the head of the club, and he's the highest ranked uh, judoka in Canada. He's a 93 black belt. I've been involved with it for, geez, a long time now. It's a fantastic club. It's non-profit. Uh, so all the instructors do it for free. And to me, that's, there's nothing more pure than that because we're doing it because we love it. This club has a long history with people in Japan. Um, Mickey Fitzgerald was there for eight years, and uh, many other members of this club have lived there and trained there. This club has a lot of depth, and it's kind of like, since I was 20, I was actually starting to teach. Uh, more so, after I started competing, I teach more now. The first thing, I think, to be a good teacher, you have to love what you're teaching, and you have to have a passion. So, for me, when I see people have success with a move, and they say, wow, I just feel that I'm doing something that was worthwhile in my life, and I want to give back to others. There's lots of stories where kids uh, with all sorts of issues, you know, energetic kids, kids that are kind of going sideways, they come to judo, gives them a focus, because it's not just about fighting, it's a community, and judo is really ultimately about making better people. The training methodology is quite ingenious, because we can do all the techniques at judo in full speed. So that means I can throw you as hard as I want, and you get up, and you can do the same to me, and we can come back and do it again tomorrow. Judo athletes are some of the strongest athletes in the world. Uh, they develop incredible core power um, because we're constantly wrestling with these heavy geese. And uh, so along with uh, you know, being part of a martial art, you get very fit. Um, and it's challenging. You're learning something every single day. Well, I was a big fan of Bruce Lee when I was a kid. And I had that poster, the black and white, with him with the nunchucks. And I always was fascinated with martial arts. And judo was, I'd like to say it was because this club's a non-profit club, it allowed kids such as myself with not a lot of money to join and participate. A friend of mine was doing it at school, and it was just simple as that. I joined, and I never stopped. For somebody new, I tell everybody to, to try to make it six months, and if they can do six months, this is yours. It's a bit of a meat grinder for six months, but if you can hang in there, uh, judo is yours for the rest of your life. Judo is a universal language, and it's an Olympic sport, so anywhere I go in the world, it's about putting hands on somebody's gi and, and uh, playing judo.